If you haven't heard of the Illuminati yet, then you probably don't have any ears. However, that is no excuse for not seeing the truth. Unless you're blind, too. And if that is the case, I am sorry. However, you wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about, so whatever. The powers that be, the man, the machine, the cult, the occult. Call them what you may. But the Illuminati has been steadily raping this planet for centuries. And they haven't even finished their foreplay. In this, my weekly blog, The Clip Conspiracy, I will piece by piece add to this detailed collage to help paint a true and clear picture of this twisted secret society. One week I might show you how to paint a lake. The next I might show you how to paint different shades of a tree. And then the week after I might just put a flaming skull and crossbones next to the bastard man. Some people say to me, Philip, you read too deeply into things. What's to that? I thought you're reading too shallowly. I've gone butt naked skinny dipping in a lake of knowledge, my friend, and it feels great. And also terrifying. Trivial things become Take this speech, for example. President Obama, a Freemason and a puppet of the Illuminati. Looks like an ordinary speech, right? Wrong. Look at it again. Wait. Wait, did you see it? Obama secretly hints to his fellow Illuminati members to begin enslaving the planet at the end of 2012 for the New World Order. Not the wrestling federation consisting of Booker T and Hulk Hollywood Hogan, but rather the world takeover by the secret society that is controlling our world. Rewind the clip, check it out. There. He lifts two fingers. Then none. Over the next few years. Then one, then two thumbs for the go-ahead. Two, oh, one, two. 2012. And look closely at what he does next with his hand. The symbol of the occult. And if we rewind this segment of speech and play it at 60% slow down, adjust the EQ, include some discomfort in music, and you hear that? I shit on the internet clearly stated he said I shit on the internet. <laughs> Truly chilling stuff. I don't mean to scare you too much, but this is real. I don't need haunting music or clever video cuts to try and induce fear into people. The evidence is chilling enough. Animals. Nature's bitches. Animals play a strong part in our lives. Whether we have them as pets, slaves, or eating their delicious bodies, we cannot deny the power and tastiness of animals. But what does the bargain bucket from KSC have to do with the Illuminati, Phil? I hear you scream, toothlessly, from your free will caravan. It doesn't. So park your mouth on the hard shoulder, put the hazard lights on before you get a knuckled full focus to the face. Animal imagery plays a tremendous part in the Illuminati. Check it out. Spiders, fish, dragons, crows, and the biggest bitch of them all, goats. But nothing gives me more irate than the sight of these bricks. Flies, with their buzzing, fat, black, disease-carrying bodies, who would not think they're evil? And when I say black, I don't mean it with any racial subtext. But I mean, black is a naturally evil colour. I mean, what colour is darkness? Black then that has to be on the list of the three most evil things in the world. Illuminatic scientists have worked diligently on nano slash micro technology to produce something so spine chilling, so phantasmal, even I'm scared to complete cockamamie. Believe it or not, but these evil bastard geniuses have produced multi-purpose robotic flies. Still don't believe me? Well, I spoke to former Illuminati member, now best-selling author Hernandez Jesus Darmavith, about the use of animals in the Illuminati. For his own protection, we will keep Mr. Darmavith's identity a secret, and will only refer to him as Mr. X. Good evening, Mr. X, sir. How are you doing? 
Good to be a citizen. Thanks for having me. Can I just say what an honor it is to be uh, on this show? It's a great thing you got going on here. I like what you're Sorry, doing. Sorry, yeah. The, the voice of the daughter. Can you hear me? The voice of the daughter is a bit off. Just bear with me. I ain't no problem. Changing or not. Actually, Mr. X, sir, could you, uh, could you make a few sounds or hum so I can gauge to the distort of your voice? Sure, buddy, that is no problem, man. La la la. Alright. Oh, that is good. La la la. La la la. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. All right. All right, all right. All right, so could you tell me of the ways animals are connected to the Illuminati's dealings, Mr. X, sir? Right, right, right. Hold up, hold up. Could you shut that fucking baby up? I don't care if I'm the fucking father. This is fucking ridiculous. Why don't you tell your father to shut the fuck up? Oh, fuck me? How about fuck, how about two fuck you? Hello? One for you and one for your father. Let's go. Yeah? Tell him to shut the fuck up. Hello? You tell him I will see him later, I won't. Piece of shit. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. You didn't get any of that, did you? No. Good, so what were you saying, man? Um, I'm talking about animals in the Illuminati. Right, 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 right. The Illuminati have used animals for centuries. I mean, not just plowing fields or something funny to laugh at, but for real things. Their symbolic usage in the occult is well known. You have the goat, the lizard, and the horse, to name a few. But what is virtually unknown is the physical use of animals in the occult. In 1982, we set about training flights to become attack drones. We experimented for years and finally produced nuclear fused flies, which... Hold on. I told you that I'll get those fucking flies to him on Friday. Hello? You fucking retarded or something, man. Let's go. I don't know what you mean, man. Hello? Anyway, oh, so, fusing the flies with the nukes wasn't too hard. We just did the little bastards in nuclear liquid, you know, no big deal, really. The hard part was training them. I mean, most of them ended up landing on a piece of glass or shit or circling a light bulb on or off. Tragically, during the training period, some rogue flies got out of hand and ended up blowing up half the test facility. My God! Mm hmm I know, man. 600,000 flies were evaporating and some scientists. How did the media respond? We just told our guys at the media to report it as a naturally occurring nuclear disaster. No big deal, really. So we just stopped fucking with the real flies and decided to make robot flies. Easy to fuse with uh, nuclear uh, stuff, easy to control, and the only hard part was making the things. What was the trouble? What? We were not aware of how hard microtechnology would actually be. In actual fact, we had to invent microtechnology on the spot. We had no idea it never existed before. Eventually, after about six to seven more fuck-ups, they were finally completed. An S-type nuclear attack drone fly, as well as the surveillance edition, used to collect information on homes and businesses worldwide. So you never know. They could be in your home right now, watching you jerk it, and you wouldn't even know. I heard they called the Operation Fly on the Wall. It's pretty fucking stupid if you ask me. You might as well call it, We Have Bugs in Your House. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <coughs> what? I'm like a fucking guy, 
Yeah, Sally, if he does not shut the fuck up about those damn pliers, I will shove those things up his dick, man. His dick. What the cabron? Fucking me. Fucking me. You got everything you need, right? Um, yeah, yeah, nice nah, things like it. Bro. But I don't want anyone dragging us after this phone call, so you know what to do, right? Roger. Affirmative, mythic. Yeah. <laughs>